First of all, he needed to nail North Korea down on any details on denuclearization. And second of all, he needed something for the people here in South Korea to get excited about. So did he win? Well, he did get North Korea to agree to allow independent experts in to oversee the dismantling of one of his missile launch sites. That's up in the north of the country. Now, that is a big step forward. They've also said that they will get rid of one of their main nuclear sites, the Yongbyon site, but only if the US do something first. We think we know what that might be. North and South Korea both want an end to the Korean War. They want a peace treaty, but they need the US to do it. And when it comes to whether or not they've done enough, well, now it's over to President Trump. So what can South Koreans get excited about? Well, big news. Kim Jong-un is coming to Seoul by the end of this year. It will be the first visit by a North Korean leader. They're going to get quite excited when he arrives here. There will be a few protests as well. What else can they get excited about? Well, they're going to create new road and rail links to the north. And they're also going to start pulling away from the border. This is the idea that the demilitarized zone is going to become a peace zone. They're going to clear the landmines. Now, that's going to take some time, but they're going to start by removing guard posts. This summit has brought the two Koreas closer to declaring an end to the war. Now, they do need the US to do it, but they are making steps on their own. And when Kim Jong-un and President Moon stand side by side, and when they talk in this way about removing troops and guard posts from the border, then that is a signal to people both north and south that somehow, in some way, this is something that they're going to work on. It's a partial win. I think in terms of what he needed to do, he's done the job. The problem is here in South Korea, they're growing more concerned about the economy. They're growing more concerned about whether or not they're going to have a job next week rather than whether or not the North has nuclear missiles. So he does need to come home and deal with domestic issues. But in terms with Moon's mission, Moon the mediator, trying to get North Korea to talk to the US and vice versa, it is nearly a win. President Trump says he's very excited. He did it in a tweet. So that is a very good sign. It might well be, even if his advisors aren't ready, President Trump seems ready to offer Kim Jong-un something. Is it the end of war declaration, the peace treaty that they are so longing for? That's something we'll just have to wait and see.